All right, usually I'm talking about that big orange truck over here, but today we're gonna do something a little bit different. And you've heard me in the past talk about it does not matter what you drive, whether it's two wheels, four wheels, four wheel drive, whatnot. We're gonna be talking about this little green bus right behind me. It's my buddy Peter Vollers of sort of Vermont Overland Land Rover fame. And today, neither one of us has our Land Rover here. So instead, we're gonna talk about this VW bus. And here he comes, here comes Peter. All right, man. Mike, how's it going, guys? It's going good, and we're gonna have a beer while we do this. Have a beer while we do it. Okay. My name is Michael Ladden. I am currently traveling more than 220,000 miles around the world on board my 1994 Storton Stevenson Overland Expedition Rig and KTM Adventure Bike. This is my story. Is this then? This is a 1966 split window SO42 VW. This is actually something I use as a pillow, which is just the most comfortable pillow you could imagine. So, so this is a 1776 dual uh, dual carb motor, about 40 horsepower, dual Cadrone carbs, which are some people love them, some people hate them. We've got a lot of space in here. It's probably not great for that I keep my my DeWalt uh, <laughs> chainsaw in there, but it's just a perfect place because the chainsaw weeps a little yeah, oil I mean, on the bottom. I mean, everybody needs a chainsaw yeah. inside their engine it's bay. It's a perfect, yeah. perfect it's spot good. for it. It doesn't yeah. go anywhere. Yeah. Right, so the main thing about this bus, the reason why I fell in love with it is because one of the most unique colors in automobile, automobile dumb is the velvet green that VW produced. And, and you, you can see on the inside, the velvet green is as as it was intended from the factory, but what happens with the velvet green is that it gets the most lovely patina you could imagine. It is just one of the best patinas, and one of the reasons why I fell in love with VW buses is I saw one that had patina, an older velvet green bus, and I was like, oh my God, the color. Like this bus is probably really worth, believe it or not, in its current condition, 50 to 60,000 for some people, and that's what they've gone for. Realistically, you can find them 30, 40, 50. I was able to get this for less than that because somebody had gone through it. They, it, it originally was imported to Chicago, so it had, it was in the Rust Belt, and that's what the rust you see on it. It quickly made its way from what I could find out to California, but the rust that's on it is from Chicago, and somebody in California had spray painted <laughs> all around the thing with Rust-Oleum. Oh so that was a real problem. So when I, the, the reason why I got it, less expensive, nobody wanted it because it had Rust-Oleum all over the darn thing. So I called Robert Skinner in Northern California, who's this amazing split window bus guru. Very famous guy. Very famous guy. And I said, Robert, you don't know me, man. But and he not only he not only agreed to help me, he went and got the bus for me, brought it back to his shop and, and made it. So basically there's some new, you can see the new velvet green in places without disturbing some of the- But it's you know, all like thinned out and, and like they, you they, can't really they, tell. They it buffed looks... it out and thinned it out and made it look like it's all OG. Robert also, installed the coveted which it did not have it purchased safari windows so these things these are the wolf wolfgang international i think is the company in southern california that makes these and i gotta tell you the most delightful we could just thing. stick our head right in here it, it is it is otherwise in this weather in, in new mexico weather this bus would be an oven trying to drive it around in the summer because the side windows are, are that's really all you get and you get this little window what would you say is your favorite thing about this bus. No, it's it's definitely fun to drive. I do love to drive it, but I will tell you fellow overlanders, there is no more comfortable vehicle than a VW. I, we have a Vanagon right over there. That's our that's our husband and wife vehicle, that's our couple's vehicle, and this is my man cave. He so, says he overlands with this, like. Oh yeah. Now, are we talking like forest trails? Roads, forest roads. Forest roads. But if you look at my latest video on New Mexico Overland on YouTube, you'll see that rugged trails, like rocks and things, it'll go over it. It's amazing. It has a one ton, portal it's actually a portal axle it's called a swing axle it's almost a one ton in strength axle on the back and it's a kind of a sticky differential so it really does go off-road super well it gets amazing traction and with the torsion beam suspension it actually gets decent articulation 
So comfort, just starting from the front. Um, what, 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 yeah. what is this? What is this? Okay. What the heck so is just that? To, just to cover this thing. So this is, I had this idea before I bought the bus. And I think I bought the stove before I bought the bus. And I did tons of research. There's, lot, there's a few van guys who have wood stoves in their buses and RVs. Most of them are a square version. But I wanted to cook on mine. I really wanted to make this a camping stove that I can cook on. And it also would be really comfortable to warm me. So this is a winter well, winter well um, wood stove that's available on Amazon. Freely available, easy to get, great company. It's stainless steel. Yeah, it looks like it stainless steel. It comes with all right? the hardware. But what I love the most about it is that it has these outriggers, which I tie up when I'm underway. And it has these outriggers that come out. So when you're cooking, you can move pots and pans Where around. You on cook the on this too. Oh, yeah. So it's great, like, I have a whole video, by the way, on New Mexico Overland, where we did some camping, and my son, who is was a professional chef, did a whole dinner cooking on this wow. thing entirely. But you can, if you want real extreme heat, you can put the, a pan right on there. Um, and the pans are, are, you know, super nice, and they just, like a nice cast iron pan goes right on there, which is great. But it's great, because if you want really good heat, you can take off this thing and put the pan right on there, but you can take things off and you can modulate heat, you can have more than one thing going. But the best thing is when I get to camp, and it's chilly out in the afternoon, even in the desert in the summer, it's chilly in the, in the late afternoon evening. So I make a nice fire in it, and I, you know, you just load all the wood in there, and I've got. Oh, well, you got wood over here. For wood stored. supply, it just couldn't oh, have been more perfect. Oh yeah, look at that. So I keep my fire starters and things like that, other fuels, and I keep. And these keep are just. This, these are like little. These pieces. are like little pieces of hardwood that they're they're I think they're oak or something, but yeah. I get I actually get them on Amazon as well because they're cut so perfectly, but they burn with no spark. There's huh. absolutely no spark to these guys, which is what I wanted because I want to be able to contain the fire completely. Because if you read the news right now, we have forest fires everywhere. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use this anywhere near where it's going to be um, fire bans and stuff like that. But I would still use it pretty much every every place else. And it's pretty much fire. This thing is a spark arrester that goes on the roof. So I simply kick that out, dump some, well, and dump it. Okay, yeah. and we go up here. Ah, and that okay, goes right on the that. top. And that's the spark arrester. Wow. What I also love about the bus is that it's so easy to clean everything. <laughs> you, just, you just sweep things out. But what's great is I can be sitting out here in my camp chair. I can actually look in the side window of the stove, which will clear up with a lot of, with a with a big fire, <clears throat> with a hot fire, and and I can sit with my feet up and enjoy the heat there because it's too much actually. With the doors open, it's fine. But then, like if there's other people that are camping with me, they go inside and they love it. And then when I when I at the end of the evening, I just let the fire die down, pop in the bus, and if I need to, if it's very cold, I can actually stoke the fire from bed. I've had seven people sitting in here around the stove, and then all of a sudden everybody paws out. It's time to go to bed. I just simply pull back, and this is the ancient Z bed. So this is all original now, the inside. And that's it. Oh yeah, Basically, okay. And then I sleep in, in other vehicles, I sleep with my head back, but in this one, it's head like forward. six inches of foam, Yep. and I sleep like this. So I can get at, if I need to, I can get at the stove, and I can't even tell you how comfortable. It is just cushiony, <laughs> they made these so well. I've got all these different little storage spaces. This is I put usually clothes, my Crocs. Mike's a big Croc fan. These are my oh yeah, Spongebob you gotta Crocs. have Crocs. He always wears Crocs. These are huge storage bins. Like yeah. fit tons of stuff in there. This is my pantry right here. So that's where I keep food and stuff. This is this was meant to be a closet, but they make an aftermarket set of shelves for these, which I opted for. Okay, so now we are in looking at the cockpit. Peter is sitting in the uh, driver's seat. And this is like this looks pretty basic to me here. This is OG. Everything in OG. here is OG. It's got the OG radio. It's got the original speedometer. It's got the original fuel gauge. It's got the horn. It's got everything. And it's got this wonderful little shelf that you can just store things in, and it doesn't come out. It's amazing. Like you put it sloped down, so you yeah. can put things in there. And even when you're off roading and bouncing all over the place, it doesn't do anything. This is my little bluetooth radio that i use and <laughs> this is a radio yeah i've even resisted i don't have i haven't there's my little cecil guy <laughs> i haven't cut anything so i've used magnets yeah, yeah, yeah. and then up here i've got my ipad mount right. again on, on a on a suction cup now you use that for gps or for, yeah i use that for yeah. gaia gps yeah, and just yeah. general navigation and what is this this is the coolest thing so let me explain first the heat you're like how does this thing heat so if you look at that little tube down there that was how it originally heated 
and what it needs, what these air cool engines did. But wait, hold on now. The engine is in the rear. The engine's in the rear. So what would have there are these heater boxes that come off of the manifold that right. go underneath. Right. And then there's there's little um there's a dial right here yep. where it uses like literally a derailleur cable, yep. a bicycle cable yep. to be able to to be able to <laughs> open or close those things. But it's <laughs> the reason know, I'm laughing. Uh, my first car was a VW Bug. Yeah. And I couldn't remember getting carbon monoxide poisoning most of the time. Well, that's the thing. When these when these cars were new, this actually worked super well. This thing got plenty of heat, and it did really well. Um, the problem is, once they get older and stuff like that, all of that stuff goes bad. So, all that stuff goes bad. So you end up getting carbon monoxide in, in the in the vehicle, or it just doesn't work at all. And this was this was the latter. So yeah. it really doesn't work at all. And you can go through and try to fix everything, and you have to right. make it super airtight. What I did instead yeah. is I I watched another van guys video and i wish i could give him credit because he turned me on to this thing it's on amazon it's about 120 bucks the covia cupid heater huh. and 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 this is this i gotta tell you guys if you are a mr buddy heater guy this yep. thing blows doors on a mr buddy it's it's almost as warm but be, but better yet it's incredibly easy to light. Like I've had this. Can. It's also it's also much smaller. Yeah, I've had this can in here for weeks. It's probably all leaked out, but let's see if it'll go. And, and these are just uh, disposable cans. Not yet. Okay. Yep. So two tries, and all you do is click it over. Disposable cans of butane. Oh yeah, look at that. That's getting hot already. Makes out heat. Thing is like stirring a paint can. You know, that's that's <laughs> it's the, ish. The standard stuff. It's a big ish. You know. Uh, you know, regular, yep. regular, regular yep. single unit. This is system. this is four speed, four speed, four yeah, speed, four yep. speed. And but it's geared quite low. There's a huge yep. jump between yep. first and second. Probably could fit inside the back of my truck. I mean, yeah, it's, not... it's really small, but it's like it, it, these buses are an optical illusion because they're so small on the outside and they can yep. fit anywhere. Like I'm yep. reaching to the end of the bus right. from the driver's seat, but it's amazing how much space you get. Yeah. inside them you get so much space you get so much room to move around how fast does this thing go on the road what's its range that kind of thing yeah so it's it's not fast off the line some of them are <laughs> some of them are super well tuned and they do go off the line pretty fast this one not so much but it but it's fast enough i mean and then on the highway now here in new mexico in the west people go 80 90 miles an hour on the highway so it's slow for that for sure which is why i have that stuff on the back the decals yeah. but it, it'll it'll do on a flat road Certainly with a tailwind, it'll do 65 all day. When when the original, I have the, the key for this, but this is what you were supposed to do, this Whoa. crazy little key yeah. thing. It kind of looks like open it. something I had on my Unimog, yeah. and it looks like it would strip. Yeah, I was terrified I was going to strip it, and I was terrified I was going to lose the key. So I put in, this is typical uh, PKV engineering here. I put this little wire in, and I put a couple magnets on, so now it just Perfect. closes nice and nice. firm. Believe it or not, it looks pretty beefy, but that's only 27-inch tire. So, and that's about the max that'll go on here in stock form. So that's a 27, 8.5 by 14. <laughs> um, it's a general grabber 80. You gotta like this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, a, it's awesome. And it's super easy to, uh, to get in all this stuff. So it's everything is like, it's just so modular. Like there's just so many things to do. So, you know, you can just open up everything and have it all completely open. This is just a simple sleeping bag that I keep in here and I just fold that over and I'm ready to sleep. What you get with a Westie is you get these wonderful louvered windows with screens wow. on the inside and they just work, they work incredibly well. So they're they're just awesome. You can just, you just simply open them up, pop push them open. open like that. Very cool. And they just, they get, and it could be pouring rain outside, you don't get yep. any water inside yep. and you can drive with them open and they don't let the bugs in because they include like a real window screen. But what the fun of driving an air-cooled vehicle on just regular forest roads and surmounting small obstacles is some of the most fun I've ever had in my life. It's incredible. Your adrenaline's going. It's as if you're doing a huge rock crawling trip. Thank you, for yeah, first man. of all, for doing this. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, tell them, how can you find you online? Yes. I, my, <laughs> many, my many, many followers in New Mexico. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. so funny because sure. everybody knows me. I used to have Vermont Overland. And we had thousands of followers everywhere yeah. with the bicycle race and stuff. And I've since started New Mexico Overland and it's been like crickets. I mean, Mike is like my biggest fan. He likes everything. I, I watch do. everything. He watches everything. So, and I do these videos mainly of myself out exploring yeah. in, 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 the, in, in Cecil. Facebook at New Mexico Overland, Instagram at New Mexico Over Land, or YouTube at New, Me New Mexico Overland. We'll get them on TikTok next. <laughs> All right, man. Awesome. Cheers. Cheers, mate.
Thanks for watching this video. If you like what we're doing, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the truck and tree symbol to your right. Once again, thanks and hope to see you soon.